guys, what's up? Denise Salcedo, I am back here. Instinct Culture, welcome back to the channel. I'm super hyped because right now we are talking to the cast of Guilty Party, History of Lying. We are hanging out with Manolo Vergara and Connor Trenier. Guys, how are you doing right now? How hyped are you guys feeling? I'm ex very excited. It's also, I've had like 19 cups of coffee. Already? Yeah, 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 because they've had us here since very early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you, Connor? I'm looking forward to seeing this. Um, we put a lot of hard work into it. Yeah, well, you know, your show is out here today, October 2nd. Everybody's going to get the opportunity to obviously binge watch the, all the shows, all the episodes, and then they also get all these exclusive stuff like video vlogs and all of that. I want to know, what was your experience like on the show and shooting? We'll start with you, Connor. I had a lot of lines. I talked a lot. It was great, though. I had enough time to, to get them down, and um, they packed all of my stuff into roughly a week, and it was just great to work with everybody, and I don't think we get to see everything at the one time, though. I don't think you get to binge. No, they drop every week, right? Yeah, right? That's what's happening. So um, you can binge watch episode one over and over and over again on the YouTube channel. Replay. Replay, yeah. So do you have any secrets or tips to memorizing your lines since you mentioned you did have tons of lines? Hmm, yeah, I guess if it's a secret. I, I don't learn sentences. I learn thoughts. So it might be a big chunk and it might be something very small, but I, I break it down that way. And then, I mean, it's just sitting there staring at the wall and just banging your head against it until you own it. And then, and if I can sleep on it and I can do it, I'll wake up and it's because my subconscious will do a lot of my work for me. Oh my God, that's crazy how much actually goes into learning your lines. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to not know them. Exactly. Nobody not wants to be prepared. So Manolo, tell me a little bit about what it was like for you to be a part of this show and you know, just kind of like the nitty gritty of what it was like to preparing for your character, the whole shabam. Well, this is my second year on the show, and the character is completely different than last year. So last year I was like the popular kid. This year I'm the complete opposite. So the pre preparation really wasn't that difficult for me. Um, being back on set with everybody here was really, really fun. Really enjoyed. My scenes, were, my scenes were pretty easy. We, I'm mostly in scenes with him, just like in the background doing shady things with <laughs> shady people. And I didn't have that many lines, so it was good. I do remember being really uncomfortable because my shoes were too small and I was very bloated. But other than that, it was excellent. Why were your shoes so small? You know, I don't know. But for the second year in a row, just can't get my shoe size correctly. Last year I had pants that were so tight, I, I could not sit down. Oh I physically could not get, sit down. So I'm guessing you didn't snack in between your breaks or your shoot breaks? Oh, no, I, I snacked all day long. On set, off set, that's just what I do. <laughs> You're like tight pants, tight shoots, ain't gonna stop me. Well, you know, I'm Latino, so that's how we roll. I feel you, man. I feel you on that. So now I want to know, obviously the show, there's obviously a lot of line. I guess it's in the title. We're going to break it down, that sort of deal. So I want to know, are you... Personally, aside from your character, are you a liar? I know that sounds really crazy, but are you a liar? And if so, what's the worst lie you've ever told, whether to get out of a job, get out of uh, doing homework, you did it when you were a kid? What was it? We'll start with you, Connor. Hmm, I don't know if I can tell this. Ooh. I told a very long, complicated lie to get out of the Toronto Airport Security. What? That sounds kind of crazy. A little wild. Yeah. Is that all the details That's we're going to get? You all actually right, are. Right. We don't want to get you know, going to get you all in trouble or anything like that. I feel you. Manel, we'll just have to we'll just have to kind of piece it all together or make it up ourselves. And our Canadian friends, they I mean, let me back into Canada. I love your country. <laughs> all right, Manella, what about you? That's actually a very like interesting question because like okay, getting the secrets well because you mean like what's like the worst like you mean like the biggest lie or like the lie that has has most impact on your life whichever one you're most well, wanting to share like any life to me they're all like kind of like the same but there are different like levels of lying i guess so i guess the biggest lie that i tell myself every morning is you know for the last 20 something years so that maybe you're not good enough or that maybe you know oh. that kind of thing and it's like a it's a false story that we tell ourselves so in that sense that's one of that that's what it is the biggest impediment is that you know those stories that we tell ourselves i feel you you know i heard wait that a minute, wait a minute i tell this 
existential <laughs> damning story about my lie, and you give a positive thing. Come so on. you're saying it's not good enough? <laughs> no, it's great. It's great. I should, I should, I should have gone second. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Do we want to pull another one? Or you did, you ever, did you ever lie about a homework assignment or anything like yeah, that? Of course I did. Are you kidding me? Dog ate my homework. No, I never had a dog until recently, so I never. I just, I, I lie all day long. I'm an actor. Are you kidding me? I get that's my job. Oh yeah, so happy to see you again. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, are you kidding me? I oh, love man. showing up at 8:30 on Tuesday morning. <laughs> so now I want to know. You know, they say that you can always tell when someone's lying, whether they don't look you in the eye, they do a weird twitch. Do you guys have any sort of thing that you do, and you know you're like, oh God, I hope they don't know I'm lying. You move your hands, move your eyebrows, wrinkle your nose. What is it? I think that's BS. <laughs> no, I do. I think that's BS because, in all honesty, they they've said that you're. Well, it's mentioned in the first episode that how many times you're lied to a day. Yeah, I heard and that. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. Sure, yeah. It is, no, it is true. Yeah. So the, the, Everything in the show is based on fact. Like it's, We have actual, like, uh, what's it called? English is different. You can say it in Spanish. I speak Spanish. I forgot Spanish, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fact checkers? Professionals, no. Scientifically, yeah. pre scientifically proven that, that these things occur, th that the lying happens. But um, look, I think maybe if you're telling, like Manolo said, there are levels of lying, I suppose. And I would imagine the, the most severe would probably have a tell. Experts. Experts. <laughs> okay, that was the word. That was not the word I was picturing. <laughs> I heard that when in the trailer, and I was like, really? I hope that's not true. And now I'm a little depressed knowing that no, that's think, really true. I think that it is true. But again, I mean, you were talking about untruths of different levels, I would imagine. So, you know, I mean, it, it may not be the people that you're talking to, but it may be on television or on the radio. Just you're lied to a certain number of times a day on average. I'm on my way when you're not on your way. I'll be there in five minutes when you know you're going to be there in like 15. That kind of, yeah, like you know. It's not always about like, did you do something? Did you cheat on me? Yeah. No. It's not always like that, you know. It's not. A, it's like little, what is it? Little white lies is the little non-important lies. All right. <laughs> I love that. All right. So last question, guys. How would you describe Guilty Party history of lying in, I guess, one to three words? Really, really good. Perfect. It's lit, yo. I love it. So different. There's a fire in the. There's a fire in this show. See, that's that's why I get paid to do this. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Well, guys, honestly, I am super excited. Obviously, the show is up right now on the YouTube channel. It's October 2nd. Make sure to check it out. Check out the episodes weekly. Check out the vlogs, all of the awesome stuff that's being added to the show. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.